Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your November 2020 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy for the month of November 2020. What do we have please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. November 2020. I think one card turned over then. Ah, there we are. It's the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card. Beautiful energy. Okay. <clears throat> Message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay. We have Free Spirit free spirit and it is with the nine of cups okay and angels what is the message that Sagittarius needs to hear please for November 2020 message for our Sagittarians thank you the cards turn over really quickly at the moment we have romance okay So I'm going to pull four cards, Sagittarius roughly works out at one per week for the month, though obviously the energies may overlap and some of you may be at different life stages so it is the message that matters more in that case. Then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and no it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Sagittarius please, angels, spirits, guides, it will be for November 2020. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. The Hermit. Two of Cups. Eight of Swords. And we have Justice. Okay, let's clarify the cards on the table for Sagittarius, please. November 2020, thank you. And what is the message for Sagittarius? Let's clarify the cards on the table, starting with the Hermit. Starting with the Hermit, we have the Hanged Man. Two of Cups, we have the Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords. And Justice, I love that, <laughs> is clarified by the Magician. I have the Queen of Cups here. Let's clarify this justice. Let's clarify justice, please, for Sagittarius. Thank you. So, yeah, we have, I <laughs> like these energies coming out. We have the eight of cups here. So Sagittarius, it is true and I am seeing the nine of cups all over this reading. Nine of cups is your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. It's the card of happiness, fulfillment, joy, elation, satisfaction, contentedness and it feels for some of you it is to do with romance coming into your life. It definitely feels like something new. There's an energy of free spirit. It feels like you're liberating from whatever situation that's gone on in the past and it definitely feels like for some of you there's new romance coming your way. So a powerful, powerful energy. Because these cards here on the table, Sagittarius, 
it, it feels like we have healing and waiting and stagnation in some way and I feel for some of you it's to do with the relationship that has finished two of cups with the five of pentacles there's a feeling of rejection here a feeling lack so for some of you I definitely feel the energy of something has come to an end and it wasn't an easy end I mean the the five of pentacles can be to do with your self-worth self-esteem as well something that really knocked you and again there's a feeling of being in limbo being in pause uh, a state of reflection taking time to heal from something and see how to move on from it now the hanged man is sometimes an energy of looking at something in a different way and again this hermit energy is healing and finding answers from within so for some of you I'm definitely feeling some illumination you're looking at something in a different way and allowing yourself to, to see the way forward that may not have been clear to you for some time sometimes the hanged man can be where we're waiting where we're in a period of limbo and it can be to do with this healing energy this can be about removing yourself from a situation or spending time on your own introspection and again it's tying in with these energies this five of pentacles with the two of cups finding illumination in how to move on from a situation that I feel has knocked you because the ten of swords and the eight of swords is somebody who even though there is an ending here with the ten of swords somebody still can't see the way forward so again this hanged man energy is about opening your mind to new possibilities looking at something in a different way but the hanged man can be about out with the old way of looking at something because you'll always see the old answers if you allow yourself to look at something in a different way it is illumination that's what you get so I definitely feel for some of you maybe some newfound answers coming your way new illumination that is allowing you to to see the way forward in a situation because we have the eight of swords which can be about inhibited thinking and again it's to do with our mind the swords energy so it can be to do with um, lack of focus um, the negative thinking keeping you stuck in your reality because that's what your mind is obsessed with I mean it can be a bit of obsessive energy of of focusing on the negative is keeping you stuck and yet this person is not trapped by the swords they have loose shackles and uh, they could easily loosen the shackles and take off the blindfold and walk away but it's how the mind can keep us prisoner and it's the power of the mind and how we see something in our reality that keeps us stuck um, so there's a feeling here of the ten of swords is you have been deeply wounded in a situation but a 10 is a completion and the message from spirit is there is a new day a new dawn rising in the distance pushing away the darkness the pain is over now if you allow it to be over so it's a beautiful beautiful energy here Sagittarius of allowing yourself to close one door and bring positive change into your life now and I definitely feel that's what this person is doing now justice can be to do with it's a card of Libra so it can be about getting balance back in your life it can also be it's a karmic energy as well as cause of cause and effect so what you put your energy into is what you're going to get back again there's an energy here of the five of, of Pentacles and um, if you allow yourself to feel lack and own lack and put the lack out there and this can be a begrudging energy sometimes of oh the other person's okay and I'm not you know why have they moved on with their lives and I haven't you know and I'm feeling the lack and it can be when we're distracted on focusing on somebody else rather than our own path that's what keeps us stuck it's where we're placing our focus and thought patterns so the justice energy is is a card of cause and effect in that way this can also be to do with legal situations and um, government institutions <clears throat> so it can be to do with for example and it's not limited to but it can be to do with if you were separate you know if you had to separate your assets you had to go through a legal body you know to divide assets divide money and the home or you kind of get what I'm saying that can involve some kind of like legal 
institution can be to do with divorce and separation and, and so on and so forth. Um, but I'm feeling in this instance you're being told to, it feels like you're being told to, I mean, this is about justice and truth. So in it feels, Sagittarius, that whoever has made you lack, and it feels in this situation, you've also, it doesn't feel that you've been treated fairly. This is about addressing the balance of that. So it can also be to do with wrongs being righted. Justice is served. And it's allowing you to move on from a situation, turn your back on it, say goodbye to it. Um, because this person is, 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 it's the Eight of Cups. And you can see there's a missing cup. And obviously we do have the Nine of Cups here. So this person is walking away. It's a card of abandonment. Walking away, abandoning something that has been disappointing or just hasn't worked out for whatever reason. And they are manifesting something new. And they're ready to manifest something new when the magician appears. Because this is the number one. This is the, the unfolding of a new path. This is now is the time to change something that's negative into something that is positive in your life. The magician can create something out of nothing, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. He is the ultimate alchemist because he understands how to use his power and his talent and his self-belief to make it happen. So he asks you, what is it that you want to change in your life? Because now is the time to bring change to your situation. And here we have what I see, and this is why I'm saying I'm seeing the Nine of Cups all over the place, we have the Ninth Cup, the Queen of Cups. So what you're manifesting, it feels very much to do with new love. Um, Queen of Cups is, it can also be somebody who is helping or supporting you on a new path. It's a real motherly and nurturing and caring energy. This is male or female energy, but it's somebody who is caring, who is helping you move forward, for example, as well. So that could be so, a friend, family member. Um, but the Queen of Cups is also an offer of love. Somebody coming into your life, offering you love, the cup of joy. So in this respect, Sagittarius, it feels for some of you that you're finally making peace with what has been quite a challenging and hurtful situation. It feels like you have been caught in this for a period of time. It could be to do with this justice, doing the work, certainly to do with legal situations. Things have taken some time to get justice, but I do feel this month you're finally getting the justice that you deserve. And you know what? It is making you so happy. I mean, this is somebody definitely finding, I'm definitely seeing finding the ninth cup. It feels like for some of you, there's new love here, but it also feels like you're getting the justice that you deserve and what you've been putting all your effort and energy into getting. This is where you're feeling so happy, the sense of achievement, elation, contented. Yeah, so it definitely feels in this energy that there's the promise of new romance but I also feel there's the promise of you getting justice. So it's a powerful, powerful month for some of you. So I'm gonna pull a final card. Final message for Sagittarius, please. I mean, I love the energy and I love the fact that really I'm seeing two nines, two nine of cups. Final message for Sagittarius, please, angel spirits, guides. Yeah. <laughs> we have Koi Carp abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around and through you. And you know, I see that very much linked to attraction energy, the law of attraction. And it's to be careful with this energy. However challenging situation has been, this is don't let the lack or focusing on somebody else or other than your own path. Um, stop you from moving on because this is an energy of when you focus on somebody else or when you allow yourself to feel lack and put lack out there in terms of statements and vocalizing negativity you're going to get that back so it is definitely an energy this month Sagittarius however challenging this is to really learn the lesson from the hanged man and 
certainly in periods of limbo or in periods where you're waiting for justice to be served maybe it feels for some of you you're being told to look at something in a different way open your mind to new possibilities um, because that's where you're seeing the solution the way forward and I definitely feel for some of you there's greater things ahead and you have the opportunity to work your magic and manifest something new for some of you it feels like this ninth cup it feels like new love new romance freeing yourself from whatever this was so I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month for you Sagittarius and I will see you next time thank you